and I can see where men get this feeling where it's like it nothing is ever good enough for some women. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. Get your money, sis. Get your hater. Make your money move. I ain't mad at you. You ain't tell about the team and get your money. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. Get your money, sis. Get your hater. Make your money move. I ain't mad at you. You ain't tell about the team and get your money. Get your money, sis. Fuck the hater. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Two Cent Tuesdays with Jenny, where you will be getting my unsolicited, unapologetic opinion about what's going on in the world today. If you are new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a new video. And you might as well go ahead and give this video a big old thumbs up. And without further ado, wait, hold on. First, I want to apologize for the late upload. Um, Today has been... A very, very busy day, and there's a lot going on that I promise you guys will be informed about what's going on on my weekend vlog, so stay tuned for that. Um, and I think I got bit by a spider. You can't really see it, but my forehead is breaking out, and then earlier, my whole lip was swollen and numb, so yeah. But without further ado, let's get right into today's topic. So a recent video has gone viral of a young lady recording her child's father because she was upset that he was showing up with food for just his son when she has three other children and she couldn't understand why he was bringing food for just one child i'm just gonna let the video speak for itself and i'm gonna go ahead and roll the clip and day my baby daddy come here with one meal for my child but i have three other kids we have one kid together, but he only want to come and bring one thing to McDonald's. But what about my other kids? How come you can't feed my other kids from McDonald's, though? Like, that's bogus as hell. Like, you're not going to sit here and make my other kids feel left out, and you're only bringing one child something to eat. Look, there he go, and I bet you he only got one thing in there. I bet you he don't even... I'm finna expose the out of him so people can see how he really is. It ain't more than... It ain't more than enough food in that bag for everybody. What's up? Because I'm finna expose you. Because that don't look that don't look enough for all my kids. That don't look enough for all my kids. What is that? That's just one burger, one burger, one fry. What he like? What do you mean? Okay, what about my other kids? I don't get my food stamps to the seven. Is that my problem? if you're trying to help out though. You're not I'm helping not, out. I'm not trying to help. I'm trying to help my son. My but how are you helping your son when you're only getting kid for, food for just him and not the other kids, his siblings? Lisa, you have Them to, are his siblings, Lisa, though. He not finna eat in front of all his other siblings and they're not eating on McDonald's. No, why do I gotta put... Bring him out to the car. No, no, no. He not finna eat that shit at all if you can't bring enough for everybody. Lisa, so you're telling me that I gotta bring... So when I buy my, bring my son food, I gotta bring your kids food too now? Yes. You sound f***ing dumb. How is that Dumb. You That's sound right. dumb. I you sound to, dumb. Where are they daddies at? Nobody told you to talk to them other You had them other kids. They, they were your responsibility. They're not my responsibility. Okay, but if you're going to bring one, you need to bring it for all. Lisa, Lisa, How do that Lisa, look that Lisa, I'm letting Lisa, one Lisa, child Lisa, eat McDonald's and all the rest of the kids can't eat no f***ing McDonald's? So you know I get food stamps on the 11th. Three kids that ain't mine. Three kids that ain't mine. Yeah. So as you can see in the video, the young lady said, I'm ready to expose him. Um, I have three other children here. It's not right to make me um, to have the rest of my children watch him just have McDonald's and the rest of them can't have McDonald's. It's not fair. Why you couldn't bring food for the others? And the father feels like you can get them McDonald's. Their fathers can get them McDonald's. I'm not obligated to get them food. He was like, and he even offered to bring his son to the car so he can eat. And she was like, no, I'm not trying to hear that. You should have brought food for everybody. So I'm going to make this quick. What do you guys think? When you are co-parenting with someone who has other children and you are bringing food for your child, do you feel like you have to also bring food for the rest of the children that's going to be there? Or is that not your responsibility? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I'm going to go ahead and put my two cents in on the situation. Um, I think this young lady is being completely unreasonable. I feel like, you know, 
when I first saw the video, I didn't see the second clip where he responded. So in my mind, I was like, well, I need the full context. Is Are they in a relationship? Um, is he the stepfather to the other children? You know what I mean? Like, I, like those type of things matter. But as I watched the video, it was very clear that they were not in a relationship. And he was just being a good dad and just bringing food for his son. Um... And the fact that she felt the need to record and try to expose him, I feel like she literally just exposed herself. Um, I didn't like her response, all of the yelling, and you it, you, you couldn't bring, how my, my other kids got to watch him eat. They don't have to do anything. You're their mom. You're their provider. He is there to provide for the child that he conceived with you and not the others. Would have been... Had been would it have been a nice gesture if he would have bought all the kids food? Of course. Is he obligated to bring all those children food, everybody food? Absolutely not. Now, if this was in fact your boyfriend or your live-in boyfriend, your fiance playing stepfather to the other children, and he is taking care of all of you, then absolutely I would expect, you know, if you're going to bring for one, bring for everybody, including me. But this man is not in a relationship. His only obligation is to make sure his son is good, which is what he did. And you basically ridiculed him for taking care of his child. And I can see where men get this feeling where it's like it, nothing is ever good enough for some women. I can understand because this was a prime example of a man. Here I am taking care of my responsibilities and I'm still being yelled at and 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 put on blast because i'm not taking care of your other kids where is their father why can't you buy the mcdonald's you understand what i'm saying it would not have been a big deal if he would have just took the kid outside had a little moment with him let his son eat and that's the end of it i don't see what the whole oh how was that right my other kids gotta watch it they, they is that right to leave have them feeling left out girl feed them if you can't feed them, just say that. If you would have asked, like, yo, honestly, like, I don't got it right now. You think you could get food for the rest of my kids? Because, you know, like, never be too prideful to take care of your children, in my personal opinion. Um, to me, it seems like he's probably the only reliable baby father that she has. And to try and put that burden on him because he's reliable, that's unfair. He did what he needed to be done, which was take care of his child. You can't fault him for not providing for someone else's child. So I don't know who she thought she was exposing, but it didn't work. I feel like it backfired. Although I'm not a parent, I've seen plenty of co-parenting issues that just don't work. It's always an issue. And then I've seen some co-parenting that completely works and it's no issues. It, it just all depends on who you're dealing with, which is why I always say you got to be careful with who you lie down with. Um, but in this case in point, I'm like, I see why sometimes men is just like, God damn, like, what else do you want from me, sis? Like, I'm bringing food for my kid. Now I got to bring freaking food for your your other kids too so if i buy my son a, a christmas present i got to buy the rest of them too because they fathers like no that's not fair you can't put that burden on him and you can't make it an obligation for him and i noticed a lot of people were like well he should have just took the child out instead of making the other kids feel bad yes it could have been an option but i don't think that man's intentions was like Oh, let me pick up food for just my kids so her other kids can feel bad. That probably wasn't even a thought in his mind. The child or the mom probably said he's hungry. Bring Or he probably just wanted to come see his kid and bring him some McDonald's. What's the big deal? Clearly, somebody asked for the food because she was expecting him before he even pulled up. So, someone asked for the food. If you wanted him to feed the rest of your kids, you could have asked him. And if he would have said no, you would have to be okay with that. Again, it would have been a nice gesture for him to provide food for everybody, but he is not obligated to. Period. With that being said, don't forget to leave your comments down below let me know what you guys think about this situation make sure you follow me on all of my social medias everything will be in the description down below and jenny is